hello everyone hey guys welcome back to my youtube channel for those who don't know me my name is andy senyandoya from nairobi kenya welcome to my channel please don't forget to subscribe like share and comment my vlog today will be about the united nations as i had said earlier or stated earlier so my vlog today will be a bit different i'll be talking on the vlog as we continue so that we learn together because whatever i want to tell you guys is um more about learning not about the the picture you see yes will be of help but whatever i speak today will be more 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 useful so let's start the united nations office is located in nairobi it's the main headquarters it's the main un headquarters in africa it was established by the general assembly in 1996 the office is headed by director general under the secretary general level you have bodies like UNEP, UN Habitat. These bodies promote peace, dignity, and equality on a healthy planet. So here we are. Welcome to the United Nations headquarters, Nairobi. In the next photo, you'll see a picture of branches that have surrounded the flag of the United Nations. That's the olive tree branches. And it symbolizes a sign of peace. The branches of the olive tree surrounded the United Nations flag is a sign of peace the flags are not there today as you can see they have not been massed up due to the ongoing constructions and these flags are usually arranged according to the alphabetical order a to z so the first flag or the first uh, country that is usually represented is afghanistan and then the last country that will be represented is called zimbabwe <coughs> let me tell you fun fact about kenya you didn't know kenya has the biggest un offices in the entire world i mean the landmass the space it's spacious very big if you visit the un and you try and tour the whole place it is very 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 big this is karibuni sign means karibu un yes guys don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel share like and comment also if you have any questions let me know in the comment section do you know you can book a un tour and get to learn more about the un oh yes i thought you should know mm -hmm. i will put an email down below the description mm -hmm. box where you can get to write an email to the united nations headquarters office and request for a guided tour if you want it virtually that's okay if you want to go there personally that's okay but you have to write an email so that they can confirm they have to confirm before you go you have to receive an email from them saying that it's okay you can come and then they will tell you the directions and what you're supposed to do and what you're supposed not to do yes so my dear subscribers i'm urging you to book tours with the un so that you can learn more about the un i cannot give all the information here because i don't have pictures to explain what i'm trying to talk a lot of you will not understand anyway uh there's a body of the union called UNMAS. it's a un body that safeguards the rights of children and you will see there is a box i will show you that are usually taken to refugee camps so that the kids can play with them and forget about the ongoing war that affects them when they start playing with the objects inside the box they mm -hmm. tend to forget and their minds get busy these are the boxes i was telling you about they usually get mm -hmm. to a refugee camps to make sure the rights of children are not violated so i'm going to talk about unsom unsom means united nations assistant mission in somali it helps in bringing assistance directly to rural areas help families stay together in their communities and recover faster after the war crisis it was formed in that june 2013 by the un secretary council resolution 2102 Following a comprehensive assessment of the United Nations in support of the establishment of the federal government of Somalia. Yes, uh, as you listen to me, you can look at the pictures, the pictures of bullets, uh, destroyed buildings, 
bombed areas now this 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 is like a bomb mm? Mm? people trying to help mm? it also deals with removing landmines in places that were previously used as war zone so this unmas body specifically does that so that it can't cause uh, so that the landmines cannot cause death and damages the photos you've seen are more than mines photo exhibition it shows the scope of unmas work and provides examples from countries that illustrate what UNMAS does on the ground beyond demining. In the Central African Republic and the Haiti, UNMAS mitigates the risk of unsafe and unsecure weapons and ammunition by permanently destroying supplies of obsolete weapons. This is a bomb you can see here. UNMAS contributes to peace building and stabilization. It also builds facilities, brings equipment and trains national security service personnel to dispose of guns and ammunition. In Somali, UNMAS supports security service to destroy, disarm and dis de improvise explosive devices through training, equipping and monitoring. UNSOM assists African Union peacekeepers and Somali police and military to better and protect themselves and civilians. Uh, before we get to this conference center, let me finish something. When new threats are sensed, UNMAS can deploy very, very quickly. While fighting was underway in Gaza, UNMAS sent an emergency team to manage explosive hazards to protect civilians and safeguard the delivery of humanitarian assistance. Now, this is the conference center of the United Nations. I know you know it. So we are finally here at the conference. By the way, when you enter the UN, there is a picture of a woman and a man uh, almost everywhere. The, the picture of the woman you'll see, she is the Secretary General of the United Nations. She's called uh, Madam Zainab Bangura. She's from Sierra Leone. <laughs> This is my friend here I met. She's from America. I'm glad I met her. We talked a lot. So this is the primary conference hall and one of the largest. It's wide U-shaped layout holds 436 seats and 109 desks in a classroom style setup. Additional features are an upper gallery seating, a further 100 and interpretation facilities for up to eight languages. So up is around 100 seats, and down here is around 436 seats. So the whole total is around 545, but I think they want to expand. Uh, rumors are said they want to expand the whole to hold a capacity of 9,000, but it has not yet been confirmed. Yeah, that is much about the whole. This is where historic meetings happen. We have interpreters, and it's actually looking very, very nice. So, we shall go to where the trees are planted or where the delegates plant their trees when they finish their meetings. Also, Wangari Madai won a Nobel Peace Prize for protecting trees. She also planted a tree, but it fell due to being eaten by termites. Although they planted a tree aside next to them, but they did not remove that. Up here enjoying the UN tour. Mm. Such a handful of information. Wow. Mm. So as I was saying, the tree was planted next to where Mangari, Wangari Madai had planted a tree. Also, the 15th Security Council planted 15 trees around the circle from where they were during the meeting. Yes, this is where they planted the 15 trees. Mm, that was good of them. My nephew up here enjoying the UN tour. <laughs> I'm sure they learned a lot. So this is a sad picture. It symbolizes the polar bear and her kids. You can see it's a very sad picture. It is a gift that was given to the UN from China, which 
shows or symbolizes global warming as you can see the ice is melting and the polar bears have nowhere to go so they will not even survive it's a very sad picture oh so guys when you look at this picture what do you see i want you to tell me in the comment sections what you see here This is a forest fire action by human beings. They burnt down the forest, so the trees are dead. Also another sad story. Let us take care of our trees. Let us take care of nature. Let us continue planting trees. Thank you. On this trip, I met different nationalities. There are people from Spain, China, Korea, America, and Uganda, and... I can't remember all the nationalities because, yeah, but it is good. Also, in the UN complex, there are a lot of nationalities, and I love that. Seeing different people from the world working together, it's very beautiful. Ooh, you will really like it. So the building we are going next is the green building, which demonstra demonstrates the possibility if governments exercise the potential will to address climate change. Among its many innovations, this green building is erected around nature to minimize deforestation and to enhance the health and well-being of employees. And it's expertly engineered to employ the sun as its cooling and heating system. Imagine cooling and heating system and the rainwater to provide all necessities while conserving water. Wow. This is the best thing I had that day, this green building. Imagine, it is beautiful. Eh? The, the, the UN is taking conservation very seriously. You can Google more about the green building and you'll learn. You'll get to understand what I'm trying to say here. Imagine, they don't use electricity. They use sun. Eh? They use sun to get power here. It's a green building. Ah, this is excellent, 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 excellent.
have finished the UN tour and it was amazing. If I was to rate, ah, I could amazing. rate a thousand out of ten. And it is it is very um encouraging and um, educative like because they are teaching about the how we are supposed to stop war. I can stay on the video. Subscribe. <laughs> Subscribe to her channel. <laughs> Thank you. So it's this one. These statues promoting peace, and then the 21 trees are the lives lost at the uh, U.S. Embassy in Nairobi, 1998, the August bomb blast. Welcome to the UN. It is now open to public. The UN wants to integrate with the public. Yes, you are now welcome to the UN. Karibu, United Nations.